Shalom. Call Halal Yahweh, Bahashem Yahushai, Bahashem Rakakwadash, that's giving all praise to the Most High. The name is the only begotten Son, the name of the Holy Spirit. My name is Ibar from the Prophets in Babylon Camp down here in Tampa, Florida. Um, double artists are our teachers, the elders and apostles, great millstone who taught us the truth and truth and sincerity, peace and salutations to the hopeful elect scattered abroad. And um Shalom to the hundred and forty four thousand. All right. Real quick, I want to go into this video speaking on these six devils. That's what I titled it. These six devils. All right. And um, this story came out what uh, to 2020 or 2022, I believe. Um, but now they they finally have been you know charged for it. And these are the guys that you see right here. These six devils. And we're gonna let the story play. You know about how they pretty much you know tortured. It says. Um, Six Mississippi officers will be sentenced this week from Tuesday to Thursday on federal charges for torturing two men. Now, it was two so-called black men, all right, which, you know, convenient, they, they, they let that part out, all right? This is a racially, you know, mo uh, 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 um, racially motivated uh, situation. It says $400 million lawsuit found, $400 million, uh, million dollar lawsuit found. And these um, Mississippi officers, okay, they were pretty much terrorizing these jakes, man, okay, and torturing them, all right? And this is something that happens a lot down here in the South, but a lot of times they don't get, you know, reported or these guys end up getting off, all right? But now they're being found out. So before we get started, let me grab a, a few scriptures. I want to start off with Psalm chapter 17, verse 8. It says, keep me as the apple of the, of the eye, hide me under the shadow of, the, of thy wings, and that's what we want. For the Lord to keep us as the apple of his eye. For the Lord to keep his uh his 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 angels protecting us. Okay. And hide us under the shadow of his wings. It says, From the wicked that oppress me, and from my deadly enemies who compass me about. And this was King David. Now he was being, you know, uh um, you know, compassed about and you know, he had uh he was being um, you know, persecuted by uh, uh, enemies of all different kind, you know, even his own son, you know, was, was trying to kill, you know, David, but, um, King David, but, um, you know, in this situation, you know, a Esau, okay, these devils are oppressing us, all right, and trying to keep, you know, us at, at, um, you know, uh, you know, pr pr pretty much in hell, all right, so let's, um, so like I just thought of a scripture, yep, yep, okay, I got it now, all right, all right, so let's, let, let's play the video, I may stop it and keep it and then start it again, but I want to grab your scriptures. So I pray to be edified to the whole full elect. I was going to read the article, but I saw this brother is a duck. Um, I uh, am Ram house of David. I believe his name is he had the video. So I said, you know, I'll just go into the video too. All right. So let's play it. In Mississippi, six former law enforcement officers have pleaded guilty to federal charges after investigators say the white officers tortured two black men for hours, then tried to cover up the crime. Now, they're going to say it, but in this um, um, situation, these officers were called the goon squad, okay, because they were going around doing all type of crime, okay, upon Jake and not getting, they weren't getting persecuted for it. All right, so, so let's play it. Tonight, Eddie Parker and Michael Jenkins say justice can be served now that the six white Mississippi law enforcement officers who beat them for nearly two hours have entered guilty pleas. I finally gave up. I knew how it was to give up. You know, it wasn't, it wasn't a, a surviving. It was a hoping I'll make it to the end. Prosecutors in Mississippi say the officers tortured, used racial slurs, and sexually assaulted the two black men inside a Braxton home. Court documents reveal the officers, who called themselves the Goon Squad, broke down the door, beat, tased, and threatened to rape Parker and Jenkins while calling them the N-word and monkeys as they accused the men of sleeping with white women. The five Rankin County Sheriff's deputies, Brett McAplin, Jeffrey Middleton, Christian Dedman, Hunter Elward, and Daniel Opdyke, were joined by Richland Police Officer Joshua Hartfield. The federal complaint says one officer put a gun in Jenkins' mouth, pulled the trigger, and nearly killed him. Mm. What did I do? You know, uh, are these, you know, really officers? You know, do they do this? You know, why are they doing it to me? 
Authorities say the officers tried to cover up their crime by planting a gun in the home and drugs on the victims after their so-called raid. The officers charged with several crimes, including civil rights violations and obstruction of justice. In their minds, the law and the Constitution be damned. They became the criminals they swore to protect us from. After their guilty plea to federal charges, the members of the so-called goon squad still face state charges and years behind bars. To take a dildo and sh to shove it in the mouths of handcuffed and bound men, they had them on their backs. They had them handcuffs. They had them intimidated and they were and they were pouring milk, liquids, and grease all over their faces in this insane interrogation and intimidation act. And then and waterboard them like that on the ground and then hurl eggs at them and then make them strip naked incredibly in Rankin County. These deputies, uh, 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 Elwood, McAlpin, Detman, uh, uh, Updike, Middleton, Hartsfield, they actually waterboarded the two men you see now. This is the first time that a white Mississippi police officer has ever been held criminally responsible for harming a black person. And we know that plenty of police brutality has occurred not only in Rankin County under Brian Bailey, but throughout the state of Mississippi. Mm. So there you go. It says first of six Mississippi ex-officers sentenced to 20 years for torturing two black men. I'm so sorry. I hate myself for it. So all they got was 20 years for torturing those Jakes, man. And let me say this too, man. That that was judgment upon those Jakes. Okay, for whatever they did, whether in this life or their past lives, that was judgment, man. But your whole by Shemel Shah is greatly to be feared because the Lord is sending these damn devils at your ass, man. You know, hey, they was plotting on, on 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 those chicks, man. And really, they they they, they uh they had they had buck broke them, man. All right. I believe one of the men said that that they tried to take his manhood, you know, from from him. And the most the the one that got sentenced the most was only twenty years. You know, then you was cops at that, man. So that showed you that hey, Esau is a devil, bro. All right, Esau is absolutely the devil, and he gonna do the devil gonna do what the devil gonna do. All right, so let's grab a few scriptures. That's one of the, you know, scriptures that came to mind as I heard this story. And we'll close out. Pray be edifying to the hopeful elect. It says, Lamentation chapter 4, verse 17. As for us, our eyes as our eyes as yet failed for our vain help. In our watching, we watched for a nation that could not save us. And it's funny because these cops supposed to be there to serve and protect. But they're not serving and protecting Jake. They torturing Jake, man. All right, it said that because because he because because they were dealing with some white woman, you know, and they was mad about that because you know how how they feel they feel about that down here in the south. And if you're dealing with a so-called white woman, hey, these 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 devils they, they want to put hands on you. Well, these particular cop cops actually did. All right, it says uh, verse 18, they hunt our steps that we cannot go in our streets. We our end is near, our days are fulfilled, for our end is come. And this is what happens, you know, Jake is, you know, constantly catching hell, but by, 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 by these other nations, you know, they, they hunt our steps. They, you know, they constantly, you know, watching you and stalking you, you know, it says our, our persecutors are swifter than eagles of the heaven. They pursued us upon the mountains. They laid wait for us in the wilderness. It says the breath of our nostrils, the anointed of our, uh, of Yahweh was taken in their pits of whom we said under his shadow we shall live among the heathen it's like here um of whom we said under his shadow we shall live among the heathen that's what we're happening we're living among the heathen all right then these heathens are putting us through hell you know specific especially edom it says rejoice and be glad o daughter of edom thou that dwellest in the land of us the cup also shall pass through Unto thee, thou shalt be broken, it's like you shall be drunken, and shalt make thyself naked, right? So you, what you devils do unto us, it's going to be done back unto you. 
It says, the punishment of thine iniquity is accomplished, O daughter of Zion, which is our punishment is up. He will have more, he will have no more, it's like a, he will no more carry the away into captivity. He will visit thine iniquity, O daughter of the children, it's like a, O daughter of Edom. He will discover thy sin. So now it's time for Esau to, to, to face the music, man. Okay, and to catch hell for what they did unto us. Now it's y'all turn. All right. It ain't it wasn't going to just be us catching hell forever. Now it's your turn to catch hell. All right. And call Halal Yehoah Bashim Yahushai for that, man. All right. Call Halal Yehoah Bashim Yahushai. Uh, let me go here. <clears throat> Let's grab this. Because we need to be hid from these damn devils, man. Because often we come into the time which our beloved Elder Pastor has coined this year, the hopeful year of Jacob's trouble. There's going to be more, you know, situations like this going on. And it's going to be, in this time, it ain't, ain't going to be no damn cops to, 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 you know, or no, you know, judges or whatever to, you know, come to the rescue. All right. It says, um, this is Psalm chapter 64, verse 1. It says, hear my voice, O power, in my prayer. Preserve my life from the fear of the enemy. Hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked, from the insurrection of the workers of iniquity and Hey, them devils was plotting on them on, on them jakes man for they went there and did all that now they sorry okay now they talking about they sorry and i was reading some of the comments on uh, twitter and people were saying no they ain't sorry they just sorry they got caught all right they sorry they got caught they called themselves the goon squad man so they was doing this hey this is like some training day shit you ever seen the movie training day with denzel go watch that movie training day with denzel it shows you how these cops get down man all right, Denzel was, you know, that, that that movie was showing you what actually goes on. Okay, these devils are actually, you know, torturing Jake. You know, the, the damn cops are, are is the biggest gang. They're the ones that's causing the most, you know, uh, crime. It says, "Hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked, from the insurrection of the workers of iniquity, um, who wet their tongues like a sword and bend their bows to shoot their arrows, even bitter words." That they may shoot in secret at the perfect. Suddenly do they shoot at him, and fear not. And that's the, them coming for Jake. They trying to they they they, they 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 shooting for Jake. It says they encourage themselves in an evil matter. They commune of laying snares privately. They say who shall see them. And what they did was they went and did this to these Jakes, and then they planted drugs on them and tried to say, okay, well, you know, pretty much tried to cover it up. Pretty much, man, they got caught. But they, cause they, and they try to cover it up, but they got caught. All right. But that shows you what these devils do. I saw many videos of cops planting drugs on Jake, man. And then it's your word against their word. And, you know, you're going to lose every time. You know. It says. um, They say who shall see. They think nobody see them when the Lord see everything. So you devils going to pay for all this, man. All right. The Lord sees everything. It says. And, and and that's a, that's that's the thing too in this society, bro. People are do you wrong, you know, you know, uh, 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 you know, fucking do some low down dirty shit, and and they mind say, oh, who, who see who who seeth me? Well, guess what? Yahweh Bashim Yahushai sees everything. He's gonna reward everybody according to their works. All right, so these devils too. A lot of these Edomites that have gotten away with fucking murder, literally. Well, guess what? You ain't you ain't you ain't get away because the Lord gonna reward you. The Lord, the Lord is gonna judge you. It says, they search out iniquities, they accomplish a diligent search, both the inward thought of every one of them, and the heart is deep, but the Most High shall shoot at them with the arrow, suddenly shall they be wounded, so they shall make their own tongue to fall upon themselves, all that see them shall flee away, and you got, um, you got these, um, what are they called? Uh, whistleblowers that, that that is exposing them. You, you you may have a cop that 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 that's in the force, that's seeing a bunch of wickedness go on, and they eventually you know come out and speak on it, you know, exposing them. All right, so you know, hey, these these devils are being found out. Okay, let me go here. It says, um, this is Psalm chapter ten. That's the spirit. Psalm chapter ten, verse uh eight. It says. Um, he sitteth in the lurking places of the villages in the secret place places doth he murder their innocent. His eyes are privately set against the poor. And this is Esau. OK, this is what they do. They they, 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 they be posted up in the hood, 
you know, to, 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 to bring hell upon Jake. It says he lieth in wait secretly as a lion in his den. He lieth in wait to catch the poor, you Israelites. He doth catch the poor when he draweth him into his net. He croucheth and humbleth himself that the poor may fall by his strong ones. And this is what this devil does, man. All right. This ain't just a one time thing. This is this happens all the time. All right. This happens all the time. Esau will fucking plant some shit on you and try to justify him, you know, whooping you and destroying you and beating your ass. So we know who these devils are. OK, the Lord has already told us. This is why he told us. Come out here and what? It says Ezekiel chapter 35, verse one. Moreover, the word of Yahweh came unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against Mount Seir, which are you Edomites, and prophesy against it, and say unto it, Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Shai, Behold, O Mount Seir, I am against thee, and I will stretch out mine hand against thee, and I will make thee most desolate. I will lay thy cities waste, and thou shalt be desolate, and thou shalt know that I am Yahweh. It says, Because thou hast had a perpetual hatred. And has shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword in the time of their calamity, in the time that their iniquity had an end. So Esau, you got hell to pay, bro, because you have a perpetual hatred for Jake. You know, they hate us, you know, and, 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 and they are in the spirit of doing anything they can to destroy us. All right. So these stories come out here and there, you know, but this happens more uh, uh, more often uh, than, than, than not. OK. It says, um, therefore, as I live, saith the Lord, Yahweh Shai, I will prepare thee unto blood, and blood shall pursue thee. Since thou hast not hated blood, even blood shall pursue thee. You see, because Esau, they love blood. They love to bring hell upon Jake. So that, you know, and now, it's, now it's your turn. Okay? Now it's going to be your turn to catch hell in, 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 in that blood. All right? <clears throat> um, let me go here. Well, 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 let's go ahead and leave that. Let's go here. Um, Jeremiah, because the time we're coming into, this is going to increase. You Jakes are going to be targeted, man. Okay, and dumb bad out here, truth, truth be told. It says, um, Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 4. And these are the words that the Lord Yahweh spake concerning Israel and concerning Judah. For thus saith Yahweh, we have heard a voice of trembling, of fear, and not of peace. Ask ye now and see whether a man doth travail a child. Wherefore do I see every man with his hands on his loins as a woman in travail? And all faces are turned into paleness. What from fear? Because Esau is about to wild out. This man about to turn up. Okay, it's about to get, you know, buck raw out here, bro. And this is why Yehovah Shem Yashai is warning you through his prophets to repent, to come back to him, to, 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 to get, get your minds right. Here we are coming into the Passover. You know, um, and now is the, now is the time to, you know, get it together because this shit is about to really get crazy and we, we, we look like we're coming into the very well are definitely coming into the time of jacob's trouble which we technically already in the time of jacob's trouble but it's going to increase okay the look will turn 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 the knob okay it says um it says alas for that day is great so that none is like it it is even the time of jacob's trouble but he shall be saved out of it you see so we come into the time of jacob's trouble and what the Lord said, but he shall be saved out of it. Okay, which is the elect. Let's go to Daniel. Which is the elect, man. The elect are going to be saved out of it this time. So if you're not the elect, you're going to be taken by this. The Lord is going to allow Esau to do what he want to do to you. But the elect will be preserved. Daniel chapter 12, verse 1. And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince, which standeth for the children of thy people. And there shall be a time of trouble such as was never, such as never was since there was a nation even to that same time and at that time thy people shall be delivered everyone that shall be found written in the book so it's about to get so bad out here that michael the archangel have to stand up and fight for our people man okay you know the, the elect of israel why because it's going to be that it's going it's going to be bad out here bro all right and without y'all bashing y'all shy these devils going to be really wilding out let's go here genesis chapter 27 Verse 41, it says, And Esau hated Jacob because of the blessing with his father blessed him. 
And Esau said in his heart, which is a so-called white race, and Jacob is a so-called Negro, Hispanic, Native Indians. And Esau said in his heart, the days of mourning for my father are at hand. Then will I slay my brother Jacob. Okay, and we should know what this word slay means, but we'll grab it in a blue letter. Okay, because this is the spirit of Esau from the beginning. Okay, from the ancient times. He's, he's still in this spirit. Okay. It says this, the word uh, slay goes into Haraz. Strong's age 2026. Harag. 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 It says to kill, slay, murder, destroy, murderer, slayer, out of hand, to kill, slay, to destroy, ruin. And that's what they, they try. They try to ruin us, man. Any chance they get. Okay. And them devils was calling themselves the goon squad. So they was doing this. This is how they get down. This is what they do. This is their profession. Okay. Let's go back to Genesis chapter 26. I mean, Genesis 27, verse 41. It says, oh, I want to read an NLT. It says, from that time on, Esau hated Jacob. You see? A perpetual hatred, a never-ending hatred. So it still goes on to this day. Esau hated Jacob because their father had given Jacob the blessing. And Esau began to scheme. You see? Esau began to scheme. He said, I will soon be mourning my father's death. Because Isaac was, uh, you know, he, he was up in age and he was, he, he was going to die. It says, then I will kill my brother Jacob. So this has been on his mind for the longest. All right. And us knowing who this devil is, we hey, we, we, we got to be mindful. You know, this this is spirit that's on this man. Ain't nothing change. You know, ain't nothing change. You devil still hate you. And any chance they get, they're going to seek to try to put try to destroy Jake. It says, um. <clears throat> get right to the point it says um I, Obadiah chapter 1 verse 10 for thy violence against thy brother Jacob shame shall cover thee and thou shall be cut off forever and those officers were ashamed that they got caught you see I'm so, I'm so sorry I'm, I hate my I hate that I did that I hate myself for doing that nah you nah this is how you get down you was the goon squad but you just hate yourself. You, you hate the fact that you got caught. And NLT it says because of the violence you did to your close relatives in Israel. Because, you know, Jacob and Esau were, you know, twins. It says. You will be filled with shame and destroyed forever. So that's the judgment that's coming to, you know, Esau. OK. You, these people are about to be destroyed off the face of the earth. You know. It says. Um. Let me jump down. It says verse 15, Obadiah chapter 1 verse 15, for the day of Yahweh is near upon all the heathen, all you heathens, as it has, as thou hast done, it shall be done unto thee. A reward shall return upon thine own head. So as you have done unto us, it's going to be done unto you, man. Your reward is going to turn upon your own head. You're going to have to pay for, 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 for what you have done unto us. Okay, and 20 years ain't pr in prison ain't paying, even though they're going to they gonna be in there getting their ass whooped. And more than likely, uh, you know, they're probably going to get parole or whatever, man. They ain't no telling. You know, they ain't doing a whole 20 years, I'll tell you that right now. All right, but they, but they might end up dying and they're getting their ass beat by them jakes in there. You know, they're probably going to be in there until, 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 the, until the missiles rain. But ultimately, your punishment will, will, will be, you know, in the next life when you are serving us in captivity. And we ain't going to be doing no damn weird shit, man. Okay, we ain't, we ain't going to be, you know, putting no dildos in your mouth or butt breaking no, no, no damn Edomites. Nah, 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 we ain't doing that. All right. We, 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 we got other ways to meditate terror upon you. It says the day is near in the NLT. It says, Obadiah chapter 1 verse 15, the day is near when I, the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, will judge all godless nations as you have done to Israel, so it will be done to you. All your evil deeds will fall back on your own heads, right? So they've done many evil deeds, and now them evil deeds are going to fall back on their own heads, and that's, and, 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 and that's what they're terrified of. 
All right, because they know that they got to pay. All right. But Esau didn't count the cost. He didn't really, you know, uh, you know, take it seriously. But now it's coming to, to, to the point where you're going to you, you gonna feel it, man. All right. You're going to feel it. You, you devil's got hell to pay for what you did unto us. All right. Let me go down. It says. <clears throat> Let's go to um, verse 18. Obadiah chapter 1 verse 18. I'm reading NLT. It says the people of Israel will be a raging fire. And eat them a field of dry stubble. I Meaning we're going to devour you. The descendants of Joseph will be a flame roaring across the field, devouring everything. There will be no survivors in Edom. I, Yahweh, have spoken. Right. So the Lord said, there ain't going to be no survivors of you damn devils, man. Okay. Y'all got hell to pay for what y'all did unto us, man. All right. The Lord ain't forget, we ain't forget, and you ain't going to forget what you did it to us, because we ain't going to let you forget, all right? And there's more stuff just, all these stuff, things just keep coming out of what these devils do and have done. So, you know, let's go to um, Isaiah chapter 33, and let's go to verse 18. It says, thine heart shall meditate terror where is the scribe where is this receiver where is he that counted the towers right um we gonna meditate terror upon you devils man because they thought of all the ways they could try to break those jakes and you know they, they was met they was really meditating terror on jake well now it's gonna be time for you to get you know terror um meditate <laughs> see lucky here now it's time for you to get terror met, 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 meditated on you. We're going to think of all kind of ways to destroy your ass, man. All right. It ain't going to be doing no, 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 no more shit. We ain't going to do no more stuff, man. Okay. I'll close out with this right here. Praise me, Elephant, to for the Get right to the point. It says, um, you know, I might grab Isaiah 14 next. Salakia. But it says, um, Romans chapter 12, verse 17, recompense no man evil for evil, provide things honest in the sight of all men, because, you know, here we are on this side, we ain't, you know, we, we can't go pull up on the cops now, and or even on those devils now, man, we're gonna, we, we gotta give it to the Lord, and then the Lord gonna, 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 gonna give us the opportunity to get them devils back, but first, he gonna, he, he gonna get them. It says, if it be possible, as much life in you, live peacefully with all men. Dearly beloved, avenge not yourselves, but rather give place unto wrath, for it is written, Vengeance is mine. I will repay, saith the Lord. So the Lord is going to repay them, man. Okay? The Lord is going to repay them. You devil's got to pay for, 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 for what you did. Let me see. It's going to be hell to pay, man. <coughs> One for four call, like, hold by Shimon you know, Shai. That's spiritual. One four four. Let's see, vengeance. Cause the Lord gonna take vengeance, okay? Lucky. Uh, I was looking for something into that, but it's all right. The point was made. Okay. The point was made. Let's see. Uh. Hmm. Here we go. It says uh, Micah chapter 5 verse uh, 
15, it says, And I will execute vengeance and anger and fury upon the heathen, such as they have not heard. So, you know, what we can do to them, and not compared to what the Lord going to do to them. The Lord's going to execute vengeance upon these heathens, man. All right? And those heathens, the goon squad, you will be remembered in, in our kingdom. Okay? And you're going to have hell to pay, man. Okay? Like those that pierced Yahweh Shai, those Roman uh, soldiers that pierced Yahweh Shai, guess what? They're going to have hell to pay, and you devils going to have hell to pay, man. All you devils are going to have hell to pay, really. Let's go to Isaiah chapter 14. Go to verse, chapter verse 2. It says, And the people shall take them and bring them to their place, and the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of Yahweh for servants and handmaids. So we're going to possess you devils in the land of our power for servants and handmaids. It says, Whose captives they were, and they shall rule over their oppressors. All right? So we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna rule over you. And this shall come to pass in the day of Yahweh. That the day Yahweh shall give thee rest from thy sorrow and from thy fear and from the hard bondage where thou was made to serve. All right. So we ain't gonna have a fear again. Lord gonna give us rest from our sorrow and our fear and the hard bondage where we was made to serve, man. Alright, now it's time for you devils to pay. Alright, you better believe it. You better believe it, man. But that's the point. I pray us to be edifying to the whole for elect. Shalom Kwam Sharala a Baba Ball. Let me grab one more before I go, okay? Because these, you know, these, you know, you, these are, you know, the children of slave masters. You know, the buck breaking that whole situation happened to Jake. Isaiah chapter fourteen verse twenty one: Prepare slaughter for his children for the iniquity of their fathers, that they do not rise nor possess the land nor fill the face of the world with cities. So this is the end of you Edomites. It says, For I will rise up against them, saith Yahweh of hosts or Yahweh of armies. And cut off from Babylon the name and remnant and son and nephew, saith Yahweh. I will also make it a possession for the bittering and pools of water. I will sweep it with the besom of destruction, saith Yahweh of hosts. Right, so there you go. You know, the Lord is about to really start judging these, these nations, man. You know, and, and especially you Edomites. All right, you got hell to pay. We ain't forget, the Lord ain't forget, and your time is come. With that being said, I'm going to say Shalom, Kwame Sharala, Ababa Ball, Praise Lessons, Be Edifying to the Old Elect, Double Honors to our teachers, the elders, and apostles, Grand Millstone, Shalom.